Hi there. So this is a walkthrough of how to install the Quansheng Dock software and the firmware to your radio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my GitHub here. This is my GitHub and there are links to this in the description. So um, you can just follow it from there. But the first thing you're going to want to do is to flash the firmware. So this is the firmware Quansheng Dock FW. So you need to go onto this page. And if you scroll down, you'll see this is my description here. OK, and then underneath is the description of the original um, Exuma firmware, because I just basically forked it uh, from the original. So, you know, it, it's only polite to leave their original readme in there. So this is just my part at the top. Right. Everything underneath is as per the original. So uh, what you want to do is either download the firmware. You can download the firmware by clicking this link here. Or you can flash it to the radio using uh, your browser tool that is also supplied by Exuma. So the first thing I'm going to do is to. Let's just create a folder on my desktop here. I'm going to call it doc. And what I'm going to do is download firmware to that folder. So I'll just click on here. And there it's downloaded. So you can just use a standard flashing software. So I have that here. I don't know why it needs admin rights to do this because it shouldn't do. But there we go. So put the radio into flash mode. And the way you do that is to hold down the push to talk while turning it on. I'm sure most of you already know that. OK, select the COM port here. In my case, it's COM5, but it depends. Click Connect. And then you need to find that firmware file. So if you click here to browse. And there it is, there's my uh, folder with the firmware in it. So I'll just select that. And then once all that's done, click on Update. And then it will start flashing it and on the radio you should see the flashlight blinking while it's doing this and it's done and that's it that's the flash that's the uh, firmware done so the second method so I'm just going to put the radio back into the flash mode the second method is to use the browser. So if we click on the browser here, you see that's happened. Now I think you have to, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> okay, so here I am now in Google Chrome and here's my flasher. So I'm now going to click on flash image, flash firmware, and I need to select the COM port. So it's COM5, click connect. And now it's flashing. And there we go. So I'm going to close that now. So here we are back at my GitHub here. And what we need to do now is go to the actual Quansheng Dock page and click that there. And this is the actual software. So to get this, just scroll down to download, click here. Okay, and I'm going to save that to the same folder on the desktop. Okay, so there it is. And what we want to do is just extract that now. So I'm just going to extract that using WinRAR, extract it, or just use any uh, file archiver that you like and there is the application folder and you can put this folder anywhere you want it's up to you where you want to put it I'm just going to leave it there just for convenience but if you go into this folder you should see this quansheng.exe but it might not have the .exe at the end it depends how your windows is set up I always have my windows set up to show file extensions for everything, but not everyone does that. 
So what you want to look for is Quancheng Dock, and it'll have the icon that looks like um, looks looks like a little radio. That's the one you want to click. So double click that. And the application will start now it probably won't start and work because it it won't know what serial port to use so if you go into the settings okay and then on mine it's com5 and as soon as you select the select the correct serial port it should come to life there's no connect button there's no you know connect to radio it should just know as soon as you select the right com port where to go and that's it. I'm going to turn the radio's audio up so you can hear it. Now, if you haven't got the wiring harness and you're just playing around just with the programming cable, you'll want to turn this pass through off. OK, because what will probably have happened here is you'll probably get an audio in device of some microphone and an audio out device of your speakers or whatever, and you'll just start the application up with a feedback loop so if, if that happens and you suddenly hear a screaming when you start the application just go into the settings quickly and turn the the pass through off right but when you get your audio cable sorted out just make sure you you select the correct values here and turn the pass through on and that's it that's all there is to install installing it just a few things i want to go over with the spectrum analyzer here To exit the Spectrum Analyzer, you click Exit, right? <laughs> and in order to transmit, you can see I can't transmit. You have to turn the TX lock off here, right? Then you can transmit. I'm not going to transmit because I'm not licensed and it would be illegal. So I'm not going to actually transmit. But you have to have that turned off for this to work. Although it's kind of pointless at the moment because you, you can't talk or anything with using this you'd have to use an external microphone to talk because the microphone actually connects the audio pickup so yeah I just put that in there because it, it's one of the buttons but um, yeah that's that's the idea but yeah there we go that's how you install it it really is relatively simple once you know you know what files to select and, and what to do all right thank you for watching bye